Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to our brand new set of tutorials which is going to talk about the new series that is ISTQB Foundation Specialist Mobile Application Tester. This is a brand new series talking about another different certification of ISTQB which is specially meant for people who are into mobile application testing and would like to get certified with their day-to-day -day profession and job role. So welcome all the mobile application testers who are looking forward to get certified by ISTQB. This certification is specially for you and designed in order to meet all your expectations and related concepts to be aware of. Being a mobile tester, you definitely may have a lot of understanding of this. If in case you are looking forward to become a mobile application tester, then also the syllabus caters you to get started with understanding of the same and equally get certified and get your dream job of being a mobile application tester in the world of technology. In order to get started, the very first thing as usual, we will be talking about introduction to the examination where we will be giving you a quick heads up what this examination is all about and what does it really cover in order to help you understand more about ISTQB, the syllabus, the exam pattern and a lot many other things related to this exclusive set of tutorials about mobile application tester. Number one, of course, you are already aware of ISTQB when you are watching this particular introduction video because you have already been qualified with foundation and that's one of the criteria. So you know what is AISTQB, which simply stands for International Software Testing Qualification Board, a body conducting examinations for professionals around the globe to certify them on different practices of QA. Coming to the certification part, of course, ISTQB caters you with a lot many certifications and definitely helps you to get certified no matter which background do you come from, what kind of testing do you conduct. They have certifications for every individual to be served right from their platform. Right now, if you look at the screen, there are so many certifications which are already available and uh, there are new ones which are in beta version and they are coming up soon. So you may look forward to get certified with them as well. Currently on our channel, you would find tutorials for all the ones which are marked with the arrows. So definitely if you are looking forward to other tutorials or you want to recommend this to any of your friends, colleagues and relatives, you can say that yes, this channel is having all these material available, make use of it. Right now we are talking about the one which you see at the bottom, which is mobile application tester. And this is a part of the specialist certification on the right hand side and does help you to get understanding of mobile application testing. With this, we also understand that certified tester foundation level or CTFL in short, or maybe ISTQB foundation level quite popularly known as is a prerequisite for this. This is a criteria for anyone to get started. And definitely there are many more certifications as you see around the tree the previous certification becomes the criteria for it. And you can look forward to have agile certification, you can look forward to have role specific certification in the core or even the specialist certification other than the mobile application testing. Adding more value to this, we are having uh, to talk about the local body conducting the exam. Again, remember that just like foundation, you will have to identify your country specific board in order to enroll for the examination and appear for the examination. The certificate will also be issued by the same body, but they are all taken care by the centralized body called as ISTQB. Who can appear? Anyone who has a good understanding of mobile application testing or maybe someone who is looking forward to be a mobile tester. It's just the difference that if you are new to mobile testing, there might be certain concepts which might be complicated or difficult to understand in one go. But this is where the tutorials will help you to understand everything in detail. Whereas on the other hand, when it comes to a particular person like who is already into mobile testing, it becomes much, much simpler for them to understand the syllabus and get certified. What's the cost? The cost is different for different country and it does not remain the same. You may have to contact your local country member board to check out the price, what they are offering you for this certification, including the schedule. Not every organization, every country conducts examinations quite often. So you may definitely reach out to them and get this particular tutorial being done at any point of time when you're ready with the preparation. 
validity remains the same the certifications are now valid for a lifetime you don't really have to reappear for this examination after a certain duration of time maybe you know two years down the line three years down the line this is once for all if you pass the certification at once you don't have to reappear on the certification again like a maintenance exam or something as this is not a tool driven uh, certification it does not have versions even if they come up with a new syllabus for this, you don't have to rewrite because once you graduated, you graduate. You don't really have to re-graduate if the syllabus changes, right? The same way here. So you don't really have to worry about that. Your certification will be valid for a lifetime forever. Moving up to the next is getting a deeper dive into what the examination will include and what they expect from you when it comes to the examination of mobile application tester. Number one prerequisite, of course, you have a prerequisite for this exam, which is the foundation level certification. So you must be foundation level certified in order to uh, look forward to the mobile application tester certification. If in case you do not have the foundation level, please get your foundation first by writing the examination and then approach for this. It's a very strict guideline as a prerequisite. No way you have any kind of exemption that you can skip foundation and come up to the mobile application level. Exam type will remain the same objective. You don't have any subjective or uh, detailed writing skills kind of thing required. It's again going to be MCQ, multiple choice questions and completely objective. Each question will have four options. One will be right. And just like foundation, you have to follow the same. Again, the number of questions will be 40 and each question will carry one mark. So you have total marks possible here is 40. So 40 questions, 40 marks and 60 minutes to answer them. As usual, the duration also remains the 60 minutes. But yes, uh, for countries who have their national language as non-English, you do get additional 25% of time. That is 75 minutes to answer this examination. So 65 plus 15 is what you get to answer this examination. But uh, the other countries where the primary language spoken is English, you just have 60 minutes to answer this question. Schedule, you can actually schedule it. Right now, as we have some pandemic going on, so you may approach for a proctor-based examination, and that can be done taken right from the offline. Uh, no need to actually go to the center. You can write it right from home, and that we call it as proctor-based examination. And you don't really have to uh, be worried about a public schedule or something. You, whenever you think you are ready, you can approach the board and they can give you a date where you can write the examination. So no need to worry about location and venue right now as far as you, have, you are writing an offline examination. If you're writing online examination, that's a proctor based, but offline one, you have to go to the center. So if you are finding yourself feasible to go to a center and write, you feel more convenient there, then please, uh, uh, look out with your country specific board to uh, find out your venue and locations near to your place to visit them and write the exam. The passing score remains the same as it is 40 questions, 40 marks. The passing criteria is 65%, which is 26 or more to pass. Again, keep that in mind. 25 is considered as fail. So you must be at least 26 or more out of 40 to pass this examination. Final call, there is no negative marking here as well. None of the ISTQB exam has negative marking. That means you do not lose anything from your earned scores if you go wrong. It's just that you don't get a marks for the question where you go wrong, but you don't lose anything from what you have already earned from the right questions. So 26 or more, no negative marking, 40 questions, 40 marks, 60 minutes to answer, plus 15 for certain cases. Moving up to the next is the K levels uh, going to be applied here is going to be K1, K2 and K3. Again, just like foundation, you already know about what are K level that stands for knowledge level. Each topic will be marked with K1 or K2 or K3. K1 means remember. If K1 is marked with any topic, it means that it might be just a definition. It might just be a terminology and you have to remember them. You don't have to do a deeper dive getting into the details of it to understand the same. When it comes to K2, it might be a process, it might be a concept, and just going through the definition may not help you. So you may have to have a deeper dive into that in order to understand the concept before you can say, okay, I know about it. 
K3 means apply. That means there might be certain topics, not most of them, which will ask you to be applied during the examination at a K3 level. That gives you a lot of insights that being a mobile tester, what would you do at this point of time? So you may be required to apply those knowledge back during the examination. But we do not have anything K4 called as analyze at this point. You may have at the end advanced level of the mobile application tester, which currently do not exist. Moving on to the next is uh, the overall syllabus of this, which is definitely the uh, syllabus of uh, the mobile application tester, which you'll be going through. So we have broken the entire syllabus into five chapters, where you'll be talking about the chapter one being at very basic, what is mobile world business and technology drivers, which initiates a lot of triggers for the mobile application to be created, and tested. Chapter two will talk about the types of mobile application and doing a deeper dive into that. For example, what is a hybrid application? What's a native application? And what's a, a browser-driven application? A lot many other things there in more detail. Chapter three will talk about the common test types which you can apply during mobile application testing, which may be something common from the basic level of understanding, plus many other things to be added specific to mobile applications, and also an overview of what is the test process for mobile applications. Is it different? What's the difference? We will find out in that chapter. Coming up to the chapter four, mobile application platform, tools, and environment. Of course, as it is a specialized testing, it definitely needs different set of platforms, different sort of tools to run your test, probably like, you know, talk about emulators, simulators and all, and definitely not everything is so cheap. So understanding that what sort of configuration, what of sort of tools you can make use of in your premises, or you may have to rent it, including the environment which is required to set up before you can actually test. So there are a lot of things you can also explore from the point of platform tools and environment in the chapter four. When it comes to chapter five, of course, how you can actually automate your test executions, which talks about the tools which supports the automation automated executions of mobile application testing. So being a tester, you will be taught about everything right from the scratch till different things like environment, platform, tools, test types, test process, and a lot many other things. So this is where we talk about a lot of things on mobile application testing, and you will definitely have a lot of things to be explored and understood before you take up the examination. The pattern would remain the same. We'll talk about each chapter. Following that, we'll take some sample questions and we'll try to understand the typical way the question can be asked to you. And of course, post that, you take up your own set of sample questions to practice yourself and then look forward to appear for the examination. So wishing you all the very best. And with that, we will be getting started right from next tutorial with chapter one to deeper dive into each and every concepts. So that's all from this particular introduction video of mobile application tester team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.